Everything about this day is wrapped up in love. Love is the great unifier, a powerful universal truth that has the power to bring out the very best in humanity. That's why the two of you are standing here today. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in a car or over a meal or during long walks. All those long sentences that began with, when we're married, and continued with, I will, and you will, and we will. Those late night talks that ended with, someday, and somehow, and maybe. And all those promises that are the unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of the wedding. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please stand. Now you shall say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband. This is my wife. May your marriage empower each of you to do anything in all creation and all that you can dream. May you each find in the other a bright smile that can scatter the night and make the day worth living. May you make each other feel anything but ordinary. May you know all these blessings and countless more. And without hesitation, call yourself loved. Therefore, it is now with deep joy that by the power vested in me, I pronounce that you are husband and wife. Justin, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my deep pleasure to present to you now for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kirby and Justin Hickman. <laughs> Girl, I'm in my 
make sure that everybody understands that you are supposed to dance once the music starts. 